Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davids and Art. It's Morgana here and today I'll be painting this misty lake at dusk for you using watercolour. But first, a very quick reminder that Lois Davidson's brilliant new book, Landscapes in Watercolour, Techniques and Tutorials for the Complete Beginner, is now available to order from all good booksellers. Now, back to the video. I'm beginning with a piece of cold pressed watercolour paper, taped flat on my board and I'm wetting the top two thirds of it with clean water. To paint the sky today I'm using a blend of ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson hue which I think is a beautiful combination for painting the soft shades of a misty dust. To paint the clouds I'm using the same pair of colours, so some more ultramarine and alizarin crimson mixed with a touch of Payne's grey and a small amount of white gouache to give them some opacity and I'm applying them using a mid-sized mop brush, this is a size 10. You could also use an opaque white watercolour paint if you wanted instead of the white gouache to give the same opaque effect. Now for the next step, I'll be using this catalyst wedge to apply some nice rich colour. Here we have some ultramarine and some more Payne's grey. I'm adding some more water using my spray bottle and you can tip and tilt the board around to get the paint moving in the direction that you want.
Once you're happy with how the scene is beginning to shape up, leave the painting to dry before moving on. My painting actually happened to dry with this accidental cauliflower mark you can see here in the sky, which I think in hindsight was caused by too much water. While this uh, isn't exactly what I'd planned for with this painting, um, it always pays to be flexible with watercolour and rather than throwing this painting out or trying to scrub the mark away, I'm going to use it. With a little bit more alizarin crimson paint and my soft mop brush, I'm going to turn this bloom into the outline of a distant misty mountain far beyond the horizon. Now I'm adding in some simple reed beds into the foreground to give detail to the lake shore. For this I'm using my quarter inch dagger brush you see here, uh, but any nice thin brush uh, that comes to a good fine point will work just as well for this part. Now my finishing touch is going to be this flock of geese flying gracefully over the lake coming home to roost. This is of course an entirely optional step, with or without birds I think this lake has a lovely sense of calm and serenity to it, which is something I do love in a landscape painting. So now the painting is finished and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It just goes to show that even if you do get some accidental mistakes in some parts of your painting such as I had happen with my wash today um, and this cauliflower bloom in the sky that I had to turn into a mountain, you can usually figure out a way to work with it rather than against it and that is just one of my favourite things about painting with watercolour and uh, I'm really chuffed with how these uh, unintended mountains turned out today. Uh, so thank you again everybody for watching, I hope you all enjoyed the video, have a wonderful week everybody, wishing you all very happy painting. <laughs>